Jobs realized he needed an ally to help corral Wozniak, so he enlisted a friend, Ron Wayne, a middle-aged engineer at Atari who had once started a slot machine company. Woz had a parental attitude toward the circuits he developed, and he wanted to be able to use them in other applications. Jobs and I realized that these circuits would be the core of Apple, and I was able to get Woz to accept this. Jobs was so impressed and grateful that he offered Wayne a 10% stake in the new partnership. On April 1st, 1976, Jobs and Wozniak went to Wayne's apartment in Mountain View to draw up the partnership agreement. Wayne then got cold feet. So he returned to the Santa Clara County office just 11 days later with a statement of withdrawal and an amendment to the partnership agreement. In payment for his 10% of the company, he received $800 and shortly afterward, $1,500 more. At the end of 2010, it would have been worth approximately $2.6 billion. Instead, he was then living alone in a small home in Pa Rump, Nevada, where he played the penny slot machines and lived off his social security check.